you're familiar with exponents or powers and roots, let's put powers and roots together. Here is 7 with an exponent of 3. This means 7 to the power 3. And here is 7 with an exponent of 1 half. Remember, this means the square root of 7. We'll combine the 3 and the 1 half to give 7 with an exponent of 3 over 2. The 3 on top of the fractional exponent means to the power 3. And the 2 on the bottom of the fractional exponent means the square root. So we'll write the square root of 7 here and put brackets around it. And add the power of 3 outside the bracket. So 7 to the power of 3 over 2 can be written as the square root of 7 cubed. But since 7 is raised to the power of 3 and the square root is taken, we can also write the expression like this, the square root of 7 cubed. Be aware that writing the expression either of these two ways is equivalent. They both mean the same thing, and they're both correct answers. In both of them, the power is 3 and the square root is taken. Pause the video and make sure this makes sense to you. Let's say we're asked to express the cube root of 3 times the cube root of 3 to a base with a fractional exponent. The cube root of 3 is 3 to the power 1 third. So we now have 3 to the power 1 third times 3 to the power 1 third. These both have the same base, which is 3. 3 to the 1 third times 3 to the 1 third is 3 to the 1 third squared. When we have an exponent inside the bracket and an exponent outside the bracket, we just multiply them. Multiplying 1 third times 2 gives the exponent 2 over 3. So we're left with the expression 3 to the power 2 over 3, where the big 3 is the base. The 3 in the denominator of the exponent means the cube root of 3 and the 2 in the numerator of the exponent means we're squaring the cube root of 3. So to summarize, the cube root of 3 times the cube root of 3 is 3 to the power 2 thirds. Let's do another example. We're asked to write this expression as a base with a fractional exponent. We can write 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 as 5 to the power 4. The cube root of 5 to the power 4 can be written as 5 to the power 4 in brackets to the power 1 over 3. The exponent 4 inside the bracket times the exponent 1 third outside the bracket gives us 5 to the power of 4 over 3. 1 over 5 to the power of 4 thirds is the same as 5 to the negative 4 thirds. So in summary, the given expression can be written as 5 to the negative 4 thirds. If we're given a base with a fractional exponent, we can also convert it to an expression with powers and roots. We're given 5 to the power of 5 thirds, and we're asked to write it as an expression with powers and roots. 5 thirds is the same as 5 times 1 third. So we can write 5 to the power of 5 in a bracket, and raise it to the power of one-third. Something to the one-third power means the cube root. So we're left with the cube root of five to the fifth, where five to the fifth is under the cube root sign. We'll start this again with five to the power of five-thirds. A three in the denominator of the exponent means the power of one-third. We'll put 5 to the power 1 third in brackets. 5 in the numerator of the exponent means the power of 5, so we'll add the exponent 5 outside the bracket. 5 to the power 1 third is the same as the cube root of 5, so we'll put the cube root of 5 in the brackets. So we can say that 5 to the power of 5 thirds is equal to the cube root of 5 in brackets. To the fifth power. So the cube root of 5 to the power of 5, with 5 to the power of 5 under the cube root sign, and the cube root of 5 in brackets, to the fifth power, are equivalent. 
and they're both correct ways to write 5 to the power of 5 thirds as expressions with powers and roots. Here's another example. We're asked to write 11 to the power of negative 3 fifths as an expression with powers and roots. Notice we have a negative exponent here. Remember, a number with a negative exponent means it's reciprocal with a positive exponent. So 11 to the negative 3 fifths is just 1 over 11 to the positive 3 fifths. The 5 in the denominator of the exponent means the fifth root of 11. And the 3 in the numerator of the exponent means the fifth root of 11 is cubed. To summarize, 11 to the power of negative 3 fifths is 1 over the fifth root of 11 cubed. This can also be written as 1 over the fifth root of 11 cubed. These two expressions are equivalent, and they're both correct answers to the question. So